In the 12 days since Russia launched this illegal and brutal assault, the world has come together in solidarity with the indomitable people of Ukraine. Last week, 141 countries, nearly three quarters of the entire membership of the United Nations, voted to condemn Putin's war. And 39 countries, including the UK, Canada, and the Netherlands, uh, voted uh, to refer Putin's actions to the International Criminal Court. This is the largest such action the court has ever seen and will allow the chief prosecutor to, op to open an investigation to ensure Putin cannot commit these crimes with impunity. As Ukrainians resist Russia's onslaught with courage and tenacity, the international community must aid their struggle in every way that we can. We will only succeed if the whole international community moves together with the same spirit of unity that we've seen in recent days. Justin and Mark and I have been discussing that today. And later this afternoon, I'm going to be speaking to the leaders of the United States, France and Germany uh, further to coordinate our actions. Uh, to aid these efforts, today the UK is joining our Dutch and Canadian friends to mobilize more practical and sustained support for Ukraine. Our new International Ukraine Support Group will coordinate the efforts of the international community to provide long-term and unwavering assistance now and in the future. And we will be encouraging more countries to join us. This is the moment for Ukraine's friends to create a coalition of humanitarian, economic and defensive military support to ensure that Putin fails. And that's why today I'm announcing a further 175 million pounds of UK aid for Ukraine, 100 million dollars of which will be provided directly to the Ukrainian government. This brings the total UK support announced during this crisis to around 400 million pounds. After 12 days, it's already clear that Putin has made a miscalculation. He has underestimated the Ukrainians, their heroic resistance, he's underestimated their leader, and he has underestimated the unity of the West. And we will continue as colleagues to do everything we can to strengthen that unity in the days ahead to ensure that Putin fails in this catastrophic invasion of Ukraine. Thank you very much.